log it there and let's go ahead and hurry up to the coffer and coffin unless there's another fate here to do if it's an easy fate i'll do it but i don't know i'm not i really don't care too much for it let's see what do we gotta do quick here uh quick here i really don't care too much about quick here i'm gonna just go ahead and see if i can avoid them there's really no need for us to uh well, i guess we could let's try fighting one let's see how my let's see how much of the bar we actually get completed doing them we probably should be like you know just doing every single fate that we face with but I mean, we got other quests to do. It's not, we don't always have to do fates. Fates can be done, you know, on the side whenever, you know, leveling another professional or something, or another job, or another, yeah, another profession. Because jobs are the combination of professions. Anyway, let's go ahead and just finish guys off. And um, I'm just gonna let them be. And whichever other player that wants to join on the fate can join on this fate. But I'm gonna just let the fate be just how it is. <laughs> let's go ahead inside. And there's Winston. Hello there, Winston. Twelve, bless you, my friend. You risked your life to save us. Uh, betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust us, man. Lola Rita owns the goddamn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that the wealthiest man in Ulda would want me dead for the, hein for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sakes. That ruthless bastard. And what of... And what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men. A beggar's belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Ulda any longer, I'm good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you. Gods damn it, if Lolorita learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make uh, sure the part... Wait, hold on. Make sure your part in this stays secret. Uh, beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Miss... Mistress Momodi? Is that the adventure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the adventurous girl. Uh, the one back at the adventurous guild. Uh, she helped countless adventurers in her time. Perhaps she know what to do. Go quickly now, my friend. Lolorito's spies may be watching. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, sure. You know what? Since we are in the area, we might as well, you know, just go ahead and complete the fate. It's not gonna take us that long to just do it. And extra experience is always gonna be, you know, pleasant and necessary to have. Let's go ahead and jump up over here. God, she's so fast. She, like, I don't know, just the jump looks kind of cute, I don't know why. Just, she, like, you could tell she's, like, an agile kind of character, you know? Because when I have a human character, in, he doesn't look agile whatsoever. Like, his movements are not agile, but with her, it's like, you can tell the characteristics are there. And the person is agile. That guy's running away. What does he want to fight with? Who does, who does he want to fight? Who does he think he is? Alright, let's check this place. We're currently in, uh, we're currently in, what is this place called? I don't know. Central Thanalan. There we go. We're currently in Central Thanalan. So, out of being in Central Thanalan, are there any uh, creatures for us to fight in this area? Looks like Central Thanalan, the eft on Central Thanalan. And they're in the clutch. Where's the clutch at? The clutch is actually over here. So, right before we leave this area, I say we go over to the clutch and find the ef these eft to fight. And then uh, we can, you know, get the Hunter's Lock done. Should be somewhere over there by like the spikes over there, the spires. Hello, cacti. That's a weird looking cacti. Let's go away ahead. Let's go over there and see if we can get the eft. And then we'll also go back into this little town. Uh, what is this place called? The Black Brush Station. We'll go back there eventually, and then we will check out. Uh, Surfit Cut. No, that's not what we need. Um, and then we'll check out what we got in the mail. That's a antling soldier. Jesus Christ, that thing looks menacing. What are you? What are you, little guy? Look at him. Wow, look at this little guy. He has like, his eyes are either floating or just like... Oh no, they're not floating. They're just like slightly attached to the head, but they're just pure black eyes. That's kind of cute. It's like a little lizard thing. I don't know. Go ahead and get the other one over here. There should be just one more we gotta fight. Hopefully they're not gonna try to help each other out, but if they do, let's go back up. Come on, we just need to fight one of you. By the way, also the ads in this game, I realized that it's easy to pull them when they're looking at you rather than looking away. Because their attention span actually matters. Like, wherever they look at, like where the arrow shows them, uh, that's what like matters for them. Let's say this guy, he's currently his arrow attention span is currently pointing in this direction. So, if he were hostile and I were to be like out here or something, he would definitely notice me. Or like, if I were to be like coming up like... Like this, and he if, let's say he was looking in my direction. If I were to be like right here, he'll probably notice me. But if he were facing away like he is right now, I could probably get up to this point, and then only he would start noticing me. I think I kind of like that how each ad kind of has an attention span of its own, and 
it, the little arrow like under them, like the little highlight arrow, uh, or the uh, I guess the highlight hitbox, kind of indicates which way they're looking, so that you can either like try to get them to run over to you if they're looking in your direction, or try to kind of like go around them, stuff like that. Oh wait, now I gotta do this over here. Delivery Moogle, hello. Green stall one. I'm a delivery Moogle, Kupo. Why does this guy say Kupo all the time? Oh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Whoever would, uh, why ever would they agree to care about letters? Why indeed, if I had my way, I'd be curled up under the canopy of a nice oak dreaming about some beautiful mooglet with a rainbow color pom-pom, Kupo. But no, the moon has to go and drop from the sky, cause all that terrible commotion. Etherites were shattered and Link Spears uh, is rendered useless. Okay, Link's Pearl, alright, uh, he's just telling us his life story. Wonderful. Moogle delivery service, alright, so that's how we do mail. Hey, look at that, thank you for playing Final Fantasy XIV. Encloses a wind-up cursor minion and a file of Fantasia. May they point the way to better you. Yay, that's kinda cool. So we got a little, uh, a little minion, a little pet minion. Let's go ahead and open inventory. We got that, let's go ahead and use it. And we got this, uh, Potion of Fantasia. So with this Potion of Fantasia, I did it on my other character. What ends up happening with, po with the Potion of Fantasia is that I can use it on this character and then go back and uh, change her appearance if I need to. But I really like how Elliot looks on her own, so I'm gonna just let her be. Alright, we gotta go back to, I believe we have to go back to Ulda. Yeah, we gotta go back to Ulda. Let's go ahead and use this. And uh, let's see, let's, we could probably hire a Chocobo Porter. Go to Ulda, one minute. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna let that venture. Now, let's see. Uh, hmm. So I'm trying to remember if I need to do something at this very moment. You know what? Yeah, I'll be I'll be right back. I'm gonna do something and I'm gonna cut uh, when I'm back. All right, I'm back. Hi. Sorry for the pause in the way. I mean, I'm gonna obviously edit it out, but still. Okay. Got my time. Let's go ahead and run inside. <laughs> and we gotta go to Ulda Steps of Naud. And I'm hoping we finally will get to, you know, start getting the quest that will actually, you know, kind of get us to go out into the world and see the world, see the light, see uh, the rest of the world. Hello there. Looking very intimidating. Laugh of the the, uh, the heart of the party. That's kind of an interesting guild name. All right. Awesome. Let's go inside. Out of this rain, make sure that uh, Elliot doesn't just, you know, get soaking wet. Let's go ahead and get inside. Uh, let's see. Where is... Where's the person? Mamodi. There we go. There's Mamodi. Wait. There we go. There she is. There's Mamodi. Ah, oh, we finally back here. I don't really get to visit this place often whatsoever. What do we got here? Do we have uh, any? Oh, we got actually some players just chilling here. Hello. Got some other players just chilling there as well. Wow. Those two people. Wow, those two people are actually sitting together on one chair. They're sharing a chair together. Wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Mamodi and continue the main quest, the main adventure. And we're talking. Awesome. Settle down, Elliot. You got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you were at the ruins. Well, that's good. Well, how does she know about this? Oh, Winston, on the other hand, is now a pariah. About as welcome around here as a rabid wolf. Poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risked the wrath uh, of the wrong man. Oh, that, well, that's kind of bad for him. Lord Lolorito, chairman of the East Aldernian Trading Company, generous contributor to the ordeal of Nalthal, a member of the syndicate. Didn't get where he is leaving loose ends. That one, uh, that one. <clears throat> which is why he ain't about. Uh, he, which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even those blades knew that uh, that was coming. It's not like they could refuse to do the benefactor's bidding. Don't, uh, don't let the coal. <sighs> God, okay, <sighs> hold on. I've got, I gotta get, I gotta back into the mentality of it. Don't let the color of the view of Ulda, don't let this color your view of Ulda, Elliot. It is true that there are some here who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if he gets them what they want. But most of us here, decent folk just trying to make ends meet. Yeah, I get that, I get it. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man. But I believe you did a good thing, Elliot. And for that, you have my respect. Yeah, look at that, we got her respect. Mamori, she's on our she's on our side. She's our girl. She's on our side. Listen, you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest a spell? I'll have the boys at the hourglass set up uh set you up with a room, my treat. Just have a word with Otopa P Potopa. Otopa Potopa. <laughs> Whenever you feel like staying. Hey, it's kinda cool. In rooms now available. We should check one of those out. 
And when you've got your and you've got your appetite for adventure back, consider talking on a guild left or two or taking on a guild leave. Uh, we've got a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'll be a good way for you to earn yourself some extra guild. Um, your trees can tell you more about how the system works. So go and speak with him if you're interested. Air trace? That's a that's a guy. Kinda gonna go there for a sec, but whatever. I guess that's a I guess that's a dude. All right, wonderful. And what do we got here? We got a helmet. We got a hood, and we got some bronze pieces. I'll take the bronze pieces. Yeah, look at her. Elliot looks so happy. You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. The recommendations list can be opened from under duty in the main menu. They will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. I like that this game actually, you know, like takes the time to actually like let your character develop and let the player kind of get used to everything that's going on around the place. So what do we got here? We got another side quest over here to do. We got side quests over there. Oh, level meet. I already know what level uh, level level meet are or level mete. I don't even know what you would really call them. I just call them level meet. Uh, well, level meet are pretty much little daily quests that you can just come back and do over and over again. And they're a great way, in my opinion, to you know kind of. I guess gear yourself out, like gear your second professions or gear your primary profession and just kind of grind your way to like higher levels. And this inn, actually let's go ahead and check out the inn. I'm going to show what the inn is like. Let's go retire to an inn room. And the funny thing is, uh, actually not really funny, but I guess kind of really cool and interesting in my opinion, is that in the inn, what you can do is actually, like if you decide to use a comfy bed, comfy feather bed, you can do nothing with it, log out of your character, or even exit the game. So you literally uh, exit the game through the bed, which kind of adds a little bit more immersion when it comes to the game. Instead of, you know, pressing escape and just click exit game or log out, you actually go to the bed, you fall asleep, and then when you wake up, you actually get some kind of little bonuses for actually resting in the room. So when you log back in, you actually log, you character will log in, getting out of the bed, and you can actually go outside and just do your thing, and you will get some extra bonus experience. I really like that. I really like that. I think that's a really cool and immersive way to, you know, kind of get the player used to, like, the world, um, the world of Final Fantasy, and kind of get them to really feel for the character and really kind of connect with their character. Because, I mean, like... Your character gets tired, so you put them to bed, so that when they wake up, they feel great and chipper. And, you know, it kind of makes players go that extra mile in case they want to, you know, have the extra experience for it. So let's go ahead and talk to Mamodi, Quicksand uh, Proprieties. I wonder if I can actually, if it'll let me sit in this uh, chair over here. Let's see, sit, 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 persistent. There we go, look at that, it'll actually let me sit. Change pose, what kind of pose we got? Just two, alright. <clears throat> or three. Let's go ahead now, can we close the menu? Yeah, there we go. Let's continue the main quest. What we've got here? We got we can get an earth shard and we can get some pants, some pantalones. I'm totally down for that. Let's do it. Look what the courier dragged in. Oh, curl? What, look what the courier dragged in. Good to see you, Elliot. I'd ask what brings you, but I reckon we both know the answer to that already. Well, have I ever let you down before? Wait, don't answer that. Uh, so happens I know a fellow by the name of Dadanen who needs a hand. He's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones to those in Ulda with the means to buy them, to, with the means to buy them. Oh, okay. <clears throat> he asked that I send any looking for work this way, uh, his way. You can find him over in the Horizon if you fancy. That's in Western Thandaland, mind, mind you. Just cross the bridge north of Scorpion Crossing, and the road will take you there. Knowing the circles his deal, uh, he deals with, it might be he'll have some talk of the royal family that'll interest you as well. And why don't you make us, uh, make use of a chocobo portal for a journey to Horizon? If you got the guild for it, that is. You'll find the chocobo stables just across the way from Quicksand. Well, off you go then. I ha uh, haven't got all day to be holding your bloody hand. Wow. Kind of rude there. Motherly and rude. It's like, hey, you got a job? No, no, get the hell out. Get the hell out. You got a job? Now get the hell out. <laughs> what do we got here? Let me your ears already. Nah, I'm gonna save this quest for, you know, kind of like to do on a side whenever I feel like leveling other professions.